what we've done, we just reduced bulk in this haircut up to this point. But now what we're going to do, we're going to use the blade in a different, in a different way. So, so how we're going to use the blade, and remember, the systems involved, because the blade and how this razor is shaped, we can quite easily palm it as well. So we're, we're working with the, with the hand all the time. And we're using a comb, obviously. So taking the, combing it down, palming the comb right from the root. And then we can actually cut in a straight line if we like. But can you see how much we're taking off? The tension is always there but we're working across the fingers. You know, it's just neatening, if that's what you want. In this type of haircut, there has got to be a start and a finish, so when we actually work with this length, Brian doesn't particularly want too much off on the actual length of the perimeter of the haircut. So what we're doing is, all we're doing is taking tiny bit of length because we've already done the consultation and shown what the client needs but we don't want any particular shape putting in so we don't want an irregular shape uh, an unnatural shape so if somebody if, if the guy comes in and they want just this area taken off you, you have to be careful and do your consultation first and check that there's no moles or lumps bumps contraindications our only limiting factors, but we can take this very lightly and just take extra neck hair. Obviously because when we're actually working here, we're not actually touching the skin, so there's no chance of actually cutting the client because we've got a guarded blade. So if we were doing a proper neck shave, we'd read gloves and using the other feather system, but because we're using the feathered guarded blade, we don't have to. And we are literally just stroking the hair away there. And it's just complementing our haircut now. So when we're actually working and putting the perimeter of our cut in, bring that down. You point thinning, you just take whatever you need to take. But can you see? So we've got all the unruly neck hair that's actually taken away from our cut. Looks a lot cleaner, a lot smoother. And not that we want it too clean and smooth, but we don't want the neck hair. So it will go back. He can actually wear it down and it can be onto his face if he wants to as well. So we're almost doing. When we, when we took it from the top, we talked about a uniform layer or a square layer. With Brian's, it almost is a square layer because when we take it up, if you see what, what falls out. Okay, so look at these edges that we've, we've created. Can you see how shattered it is? How thin and textured? That's the effect that we want. And what we want, we don't only want it so it's shattered through the, through the edges, we want it so it's through the whole of the haircut, so we've reduced the weight all through the haircut. So again, from this side, just to bring it to what we want. Again, using the back edge, because if we use the front edge to do this, it'll cut into the actual haircut. So we're using the back edge of the blade and we're very, very slightly reducing the neck hair. So we're constantly checking and working the balance of the haircut. We're never going to wear it so in that position, but as you can see, we've taken a lot of hair out of that. What we've worked with. So just to recap, we've personalized 
what we've done because we can't get this effect. As you can see, if you can see the hair on the floor, we can't get this same effect with using scissors. So this is the perfect system to reduce the bulk and then shatter the edges. We can chip in, we can use other texturizing techniques, but you still don't get that finish. You still don't get that looseness in the hair, if you like, and how it moves and when it's dried. So when we're, when we're gonna dry this off now and put some product on, we can actually see the finished result. Okay, so we've got our finished look. We've done our razor cutting on the haircut. We've used both types of razors for the face shave and we've used this razor system for cutting the hair. When we're working with these kind of systems, they're the best on the market. So what, we, what we're after is a quality product, gives us a, a quality uh, finish. I'd like to thank Arojo for school for having us and giving us this space and look out for their barbering academy, their brand new barbering academy opening soon. So I'd like to thank Jitai for the tools that we're using today. Look on the, on the website, these videos are going to be on there and there's going to be more posted soon.